Hello everyone. In one of my previous videos, I disassembled a laptop battery to extract 18650 cells. In this video, I will build 18650 lithium cell charger using TP4056 charging board with battery protection. First of all, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates. I will give links to all items used in this DIY in description and if you have any question then do post a comment. This little charging board can be used to charge 3.7 volts lithium ion batteries and are available at very low price. Make sure you buy the one with low voltage protection as the one without battery protection can harm your batteries. You will also need this 18650 battery holder. This charger uses two step charging, constant current and constant voltage. As you can see in datasheet of TP4056, when battery voltage is below 2.875 volts, it charges battery at 100 mA. And as soon as battery voltage rises to 2.875 volts, it starts charging at 1 A. Until battery voltage rises up to 4.2 volts. At 4.2 volts, it switches to constant voltage and charging current decreases. Charging current can also be adjusted by changing this resistor. Resistor value can be determined by this chart in datasheet. You can use micro USB port to provide 5 volts input or use these two input terminals to provide 5 volts directly. Battery is connected to B positive and B negative pins of the board and to prevent battery from low voltage, output is used from out positive and out negative terminals. I will solder positive and negative wires of battery holder to B positive and B negative terminals. Let's try charging this battery. As you can see this battery is at 3.5 volts and is charging at 1 ampere. After almost 2 hours, battery voltage is at 4.18 volts and after around 5 hours, this battery is fully charged and voltage on output terminals is dropped to 4.16 volts. Now let's solder these header pins to test low voltage protection. I will solder these pins to out positive and out negative terminals. I have made this simple load circuit choosing power resistor and LED in parallel on breadboard. I will connect the circuit with TP4056 choosing jumper cables. Now let's check voltage across the load. 
as you can see it is 3.24 volt and it will take quite some time to completely discharge this cell to speed up the process and test low voltage protection i will use an already discharged cell as you can see as soon as voltage drops to 2.07 volts output voltage is cut off while voltage across the cell is at 2.64 volts output will be turned back on when battery voltage rises up to 3 volts thank you for watching